and a good, super good morning to each and every single one of you and just quickly you see those trees just to my left over there these are all avocados if I come up closer you might be able to make out some avocados hanging there let's see there's See, there they are, just over there. Can you make them out? Let's see if I can get a better angle. There we go. Uh, let's see, where are we? There we go, there's some avocados. Anyway. I'm sure you did not tune in to see me talking about how the avocado harvest is developing. But it's developing, so as you can see, the part of Spain where I'm in, everything grows. Anyway, bike ride for the morning done, dusted, out on the bike ride. There happened to be a whole lot of wind noise and I'm hoping over here where I am at the moment is slightly less wind noise. So as you can see, I'm walking over here and I'm giving you a nice view behind me. But if I swivel the camera around, I've got a big stone wall over here which is helping to protect the camera's microphone from a little bit of wind noise. Anyway, oh! Now we're on to the steep uphill part of the path, so I hope I don't puff too much. Anyway, so bike ride done and dusted. A little bit of a run, finishing off with a touch of walk, cool down at the end of my run. This walk cool down is going to terminate at the mobile phone shop because that's one of the other little things that I've got going on this side is that yes I could have my mobile phone connection done as an add-on to my um, as an add-on to my internet account For the price of five euros but I've gone the more expensive route and gone for 10 euros a month but what I have is I've made my mobile phone connection a pay-as-you-go mobile phone connection to a completely different company to the one that supplies my Wi-Fi my logic behind that is really simple because I found out from other people in the village that when they've got their mobile phone and their Wi-Fi on the same connection if Wi-Fi goes down then they're without mobile phone connection as well and obviously for blogging I need an internet connection so by having my mobile phone connected to a completely different network if the Wi-Fi goes down I just turn my mobile phone into a mobile hotspot and I can keep working and not be ground to an all of a sudden halt but I don't use the Wi-Fi connectivity of my phone that much so I build up additional data space month on month which means that when I make things like a bus trip to Granada I can use my mobile phone as a mobile Wi-Fi hotspot and keep blogging anyway I'm now into the 
heavy traffic. So what I'm going to do is finish off this segment, sort out the top up of my mobile phone and the data, and I'll catch up with you when I'm back in office. I'm back again. This time I'm just heading home in a slightly more scenic route. Look at this stunning little cottage here just behind me with its stonework. Anyway, the only reason why I'm tuning in again is because by going back home the long way around, oh wait, peak traffic coming. We just wait for this car to go past. There we go. One car, that was peak traffic. Let me keep on walking. Uh, I'm going back home the long way around. And I decided to start recording again so that I can show you the sort of garden effect that the locals have got going here. Every single balcony just dripping with plants, some of them in flower. When it was more towards springtime, there were a whole lot more of them in flower. Anyway, that was just a brief little interlude. Let me get going again, and I'll see you in office. Another short update, just to let you know, in two weeks' time, around the end of the month, I think it starts around about the 27th of September, runs until the 1st or 2nd of October, is our town's major five day long feria fiesta of the year and there you can see the big marquee tent already starting to get constructed on the 15th of september to make sure everything's good and ready because the marquee tent can't be just up just before the feria starts because all of the exhibitors need to come and set up their stalls in the marquee tent before the feria starts anyway so there you can see it behind me the beginnings of the feria's marquee tent hi then good evening it is technically Saturday morning at the moment or, and not Friday evening but I'm going to be calling it Friday evening it's just gotten midnight so it's a couple of minutes into Saturday morning but anyway super quick update as far as word count is concerned 3246 words nailed today plus the YouTube video that by now you probably would have seen already uh, so I can I'm feeling really happy as far as that's concerned another little update I heard during the course of the day is that at the end of this month it's the end of September is when Spanish classes resume for the new year. I'm waiting to hear um, what day, what the days and times will be of my Spanish lessons, and I'm being placed solidly by my the Spanish teacher at the college that I showed you a couple of days ago, the Spanish college, the free language lessons that are put put on by the municipality to help with integration and there's a beginner's level there's an intermediate level and there's an advanced level and i've been slotted into the um intermediate level although there's the first lesson of the year is split between beginners and advanced where everybody's supposed to be writing a test and then based on the results of the test be slotted into either beginner intermediate or, or advanced and although the, uh, those first lessons are likely to coincide when I'm due to be heading into up to Madrid. So I might miss out on the boring test that makes up the first lesson of the year. Um, but speaking to the teacher and he, my communication with the teacher and the way he understands my communications, he reckons that I will probably be in the intermediate group and not the beginner group. So that's at one, at least one um, positive thing that I can take out of this is that I can feel really proud that as far as my Spanish level is concerned, my Spanish teacher calls me average. Anyway, but with that said, and that little bit of silliness right at the end, it's been a long week, it's been a, a long day. Um, I'm needing to get myself into bed relatively soon because Michael of this mobile phone fame and myself are due to be heading out on a bike ride at, oh, sorry, uh, sorry about the yawning, at 8.30 in the morning. So I need to get some rest ahead of that. Um, 
this coming week, this weekend, there's a distinct chance that I may be in Granada, so I'll try and shoot some footage from around there. Not too sure what I'll be able to get done on the content creation front outside of whatever I can do in the bus on the way to Granada and on the way back from Granada. Um, but maybe I'll be able to shoot some footage that will be into Monday's video of whatever I can see and encounter in Granada. Some of you like the video clips of the um, tango and other Latin dancing that was happening in the Plaza Nueva. Maybe I could film a little bit of that maybe on Sunday evening and slot in a couple of YouTube shorts of dancing in the Plaza Nueva. Let me know what you think. Anyway, but with that said, let me wrap this up so that I can get myself to bed and be up early in the morning for the bike ride with Michael, smash out some content, uh, as well as doing my normal weekend things which will be happening tomorrow, which will be washing laundry, cleaning the flat, sweeping, mopping, all of that exciting stuff before probably late Saturday afternoon, um, if all goes to plan make a trip through to Granada. Um, there's a friend that I can potentially stay over with, which means that I'm only potentially back here in Ochiva at just before 11 on Monday morning and I've got a, and I need to be in gym at 12. So that works out just perfectly. Anyway, with that said, have yourselves a good night, and I'll probably only see you again on Monday, but maybe before then. Good night.